Hello guys, I hope you are doing fine. This is Rex Garvin and I will be discussing to you right now. Um, just to inform you people, I am not in a quiet room. There might be noises sometimes but they are just manageable anyway. Before we go further about hyperbola, let's try to understand first the definition. Okay? So hyperbola by definition is a set of points in a plane whose distances to two fixed points make a constant difference. So this is how the hyperbola looks like. It is a disjoint curves op opening in um, dif opposite directions. Okay, again, disjoint curves opening in opposite directions. This hyperbola is made of so many points. Actually, infinitely, infinitely many points. That means we cannot take all of these points. Okay, it's not possible for us to do it. Now, I will be taking some of the points in this hyperbola to illustrate what the definition is talking about. So I have here six points in the conic section or in this curve. Now the two black points on the screen are the fixed points of our hyperbola. When we say fixed points, okay, these are the foci of our hyperbola. Again, the fixed points are the foci, focus in singular form. Let's just label them with F1 and F2 or focus 1 and focus 2. Okay. Guys, you can choose any point in the hyperbola. Okay, as in any point. In this illustration, in my illustration, I will be choosing um, point P there as my example to illustrate what the, what the definition is, is telling us. So, that point P, guys, has a distance to F1 and a distance to F2. Correct? Those distances are the distances to the two fixed points. Okay? Again, those distances are the distances to the two fixed points. That is the definition telling us. The definition says, set of points in a plane whose distances to two fixed points or foci make a constant difference. Okay? Going back to the illustration. That means, guys, the distances in the illustration will make a constant difference. What does it mean? What does it mean? Actually, in general, we can just um, make an expression for it. That is the absolute value PF1 minus PF2 is a constant. Okay? PF1 is, of course, not PF1 is P to F1, distance P to F1, and PF2 is the distance P to F2. We are trying to subtract them because we are talking about difference, okay? In this expression, it tells you that the difference of the two distances is a constant, okay? Now, for you to, to, to figure it out better, I hope, the constant, guys, will always be equivalent to 2A. Okay, again, the difference of the distances to the fixed points is always 2A. That means it's fixed. You can choose any point, as I said. You can choose any point. But whichever point will it be, you will always come up with the same difference, which is 2A. Okay? As in this one, for example, if I have this point A there down in, on the screen, okay, it's a point in the hyperbola different from P. And this obviously it has a distance to F1 and a distance to F2, correct? Now, if you will subtract the distances, expect that the difference will be 2A as well. So notice that it is the same with the previous one. Because again, the definition is telling you that it will always make a constant difference. Okay? You can have point B there down. The distances to F1 and F2 will always make a constant difference, which is 2A again. If you have point C, then 
CF1 to CF2, subtracting them will give you 2A. If I have point B, the difference of the distances will be 2A as well. If, uh, if I have point G, then of course the difference of the distances will be 2A again. So you can choose any point in the hyperbola, you will always come up with a constant difference or the same difference and that will always be 2a 2a guys is the major axis of the ellipse all right but that is an ellipse in hyperbola 2a is the length of our transverse axis okay again 2a is the length of our transverse axis worry less about the term for now i will be discussing transverse axis in the next video so that's it goodbye